And now, your NBC 26 Storm Shield forecast with meteorologist Gino Recchia. Well, through today, we have seen over 11 inches of precipitation, whether it's in the form of rain or snow. The normal we normally see through today is just around four and a half inches. We're the 11th weather start on record going above 2018 and 19. Those two years were the second and first wettest years on record for Green Bay. Matter of fact, we had a little bit of rainfall this morning, but the rain did come to an end before most of us woke up. And by the afternoon, once that cold front came through, it was a whole other story. It felt and really felt like spring out there. Nice, comfortable day. The temperatures did climb up into the lower 50s, and we've got another day of that for tomorrow. It's 36 though right now, and with the light wind out of the east and southeast, it feels like 30 degrees out there, so it still is a little chilly this evening. You want to grab a jacket if you have to walk the pet dog out there. It's 40 degrees in Oshkosh. We've got 30 up in Mountain, 38 in Shano, and 35 in Manitowoc. We are seeing those winds coming in off the lake and towards the lake. Lake. There's that little weak frontal boundary, or I should say lake breeze that's passing through. And that's something that we'll be seeing for the day for tomorrow as those winds continue to propagate out of the east and southeast. Storm Shield radar is going to remain quiet for tonight into tomorrow. High pressure is moving in here, and that's going to keep our weather very uh, subtle. And we won't be seeing any rainfall until probably Monday the earliest, and that really looks to be a very minimal system. You'll see that on SkyCast right now. So for the overnight period, quiet conditions may Maybe some low lying fog is hinting on skycast, but honestly, I don't think that'll happen as we get into the afternoon hours. Lots of blue skies out there later tomorrow evening. That's when the clouds start to build in here ahead of our approaching system Monday morning, but it'll just be in the form of a few light sprinkles, very minimal moisture with this system, and the chance will continue on and off through the day on Monday, but most of the day should be dry. Now in total, we will have several rounds of rain and even some thunderstorms possibly all the way through Friday, and we could see some totals up of about a half inch to three quarters of an inch. I mean, we are in spring, so we do get those spring showers and we have to monitor those river flood warnings, which are still in effect for the Wolf River, the Fox River down in Green Lake County, and also the Menominee River right along the UP and Wisconsin state line. Uh, 29 for an overnight low temperature will drop uh, those temperatures. Like I said, below 30 degrees winds light out of the northeast at two to five miles per hour. Then for tomorrow, another nice, comfortable day, a complete 180 from last weekend when we had those rain showers from Saturday and Sunday. This time around, we're seeing sunshine both today and tomorrow. High of 52 degrees. A little cooler by the lakeshore because we have that onshore wind flow. 53 on Monday, a few light rain showers possible. Getting into the 60s on Tuesday and Wednesday. Could have a few thunderstorms Tuesday night. A few light rain showers Wednesday. Then behind it, it looks like some cold air at Vex southward. Could have a few light uh, rain snow showers. But overall, not a big system. And that's a look at your forecast.